Coaches, what's going on? It's Coach Ian Tatum here back with another video. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about a little bit of OL Indy. Uh, I'm offensive line coach at Walker Chan High School in North Carolina. So naturally, uh, I'll be talking about a little bit of offensive line Indy, kind of maybe everyday drills of what I do. Uh, I've kind of done this before on the board, kind of laid out some things that I like to get through with our guys. Uh, I think that helps them uh, translate to the game. Um, but today we're going to hop into some film, uh, kind of recorded a couple of our guys doing some drills. Um, I know it was a big thing about, hey, drills, drills, drills. Well, guess what? People like to see drills. Um, either it's, hey, to validate what they're already doing or maybe get some pointers on some things to do, especially with the offensive line. Because I feel like obviously everybody goes through individual uh, during practice, but I feel like the offensive line is such a technical uh, skill uh, for guys to have to learn with these steps, pulls, double teams, uh, hand placement, uh, your eyes put on the right place, uh, all those different things with, and with pass pro. So we're kind of going to get into a couple of things. It's not going to be my whole indie because uh, it'll be you know a little bit of a longer video, but we're going to get into uh, just a couple of, of you know drills that I like to hit at least every day, but they're going to be hit every week. Uh, that we like to get through. Um, I think they're are kind of essential, especially playing offensive line and even trying to develop young offensive linemen. Because uh, I don't recruit, so we'll little, little, you know knock to some people, but I don't recruit. So I, whoever comes to me, I'm a coach, right? I'm a coach them up and try and get them better. Uh, whether or not they ever do, uh, it is what it is. But I'm going to try my best to develop. So these are some things I think. Hey. Get a kid, maybe he's never played offensive line before, get him out there, let's try and mold him into playing offensive line. The reason being, it's not natural, right? People, you know, when you play running back, receiver, all these different things, running's more natural. Catching, I mean, you catch things, you hold things all the time, but blocking and stepping and double team, all the things, those aren't very natural things um, in life. So you kind of have to break it down and kind of go through uh, a new skill with these kids. So, uh, I'm going to get into what we do a little bit, and uh, if you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like on the video. My last video on pistol uh, has 14 likes. I think we can do way more than that. I'd love to hit over 20, 25. Um, it's many people that watch these videos. I always usually get over 200 views in these videos. I have 1,300 subscribers. I know we can get at least over 20, right? I'd love for you all to blow it out uh, and, and do this. So we hit the like button, and if you're not subscribed, maybe this is your first video. Uh, again, I'm Coach Tatum. Uh, follow me on Twitter right there at Coach Tatum90. Uh, love to be, you know, as active over there as possible to network and try to help uh, and try to learn things as well on my own. So uh, let's hop into a little bit of Indy and we'll hook it over to the film and get started. All right, so right off the bat, uh, I believe in doing boards. I got college, uh, and I have my guys do boards now, working on their steps. Uh, if you're a guy that's like, hey, I don't like doing boards, perfect. Teach me something that's better at working footwork uh, for offensive line. So, right here, I just had the board slanted uh, at a 45 degree angle, kind of simulating maybe a zone step, or I, I kept this more of as a, as a, as a down block uh, since we're more gap scheme. But we will work multiple different drills within this, and I'll kind of talk about that before we get into it. Uh, I work the board straight, uh, and I work both feet. So, I put left foot on the corner of the board, and we'll work uh, left step. And we work through progressions. So they step once, reset, step twice, reset, and they work there three times and they'll work down the board and finish with their hands and get out of the shoe. And they'll go left and right. So they'll put the right foot on the board. Next time they come up, and they'll go right, one, two, and then three with progression down. And then we'll slant the boards 45 degree angles like this, uh, working the same thing left, and then we'll work right. And then if you want to, maybe we're going to work like more on sprint out or we're, we're working on like a stretch or a sweep outside zone play, whatever you want to call it. I'll have the boards really wide so they can work on opening their hips and getting on that track uh, and working on those different type of things when it comes to their steps. Um, and then the progression off of this would be to have somebody holding the bag uh, at the end of it and have them deliver a blow uh, once they get to uh, have the – I'll draw on this – have like the bag holder kind of be right here in the middle. Uh, let's see. Let me draw on it. So here we go. Ah, I'm going to draw up there. Whatever. So down here my, where my cursor is, right here on the cross right here, have me in the middle and have them drive them down the board. Um, so let's kind of get into it. We're going to kind of go slow motion. 
So I'll blow a whistle, they step once, reset. Okay, I'll blow the whistle again, they step twice, and then reset, and then I blow the whistle, and they work down the board. Okay, we're gonna go back, go full speed um, from the top. So one, they go two, and then they go three. Okay, they they knew I was filming, so they, they were doing it really they're doing it kind of fast. I slowed them down. I was like, we're going too fast. Because uh, right here, the guy on the right, right here, he kind of hops right there. I don't want him to hop. I want him to step. Boom, boom, step, reset. Um, so we kind of I coached that up after this clip, and then we got them right. Uh, and then they worked down the board. And again, the next progression would be to have somebody on the board and have them block the bag. Okay? Just kind of another, another look at it right here. Guy on the right, right here, going to be really good for us. Uh, I think um, he does really well with the step on that second step. Boom, boom. And then work down the board. And I know you're, a lot of guys are like, man, I wouldn't have them under the chute with no helmet on. This is like multiple days of us being out there. Uh, I don't start them right under the chute. I work, teach the drill so I have to worry about height. Uh, and then I put them under the chute. I don't have guys to hit their heads, right? Uh, it definitely is better like in spring ball when you have helmets on. But, uh, I mean, I, we, we work these hips, man, getting flexible and staying low. Okay, so this right here is just the next progression. This is when I was at North Carolina. Uh, this is in season, so obviously you can see all the guys already have. They have all their full pads on. So one, reset, and then they're gonna go two, reset, and then three. They're gonna work down the board and shoot their hands. I always try to teach them to shoot their hands, right? Just teach, uh, you know, not being lazy, right? All right. Next one, we're gonna work a reach drill right here uh, from under the shoot. And I kind of have them right here, like outside of the chute. Their heads are ready, so when they come out, they're ready to go, and they're not going to hit their heads. Um, that's just, you know, learning the hard way. So I see it's a reach drill. Try to, you want to have this foot try to get through uh, through the crotch of the of, of the defender you're reaching. Okay, backside foot through the crotch, backside arm through. Um, again, this is like we're trying, still trying to learn this before spring. Uh, trying to work, work this reach drill right here and run, okay? Just some side angle right here. Work and finish. You also got to coach the bag, guys, man. I try to teach them, put your arm all the way through the bag, right? Put it on your knee. And then what I want them to do, once they make contact right here, his off hand, so his right hand's inside, his off hand is on the side. He needs to put his right hand on top drive this thing down, right? He drives the bag down and keeps the bag low, and so they have to try and drive it up. Um, so that's just something I've always done, and that's what I believe in, okay? Reach and run. All right, next, okay, so for big gap scheme, we want to pull, okay? And then we've already done this. We've already gotten our work in. Now they're, they're standing back here because they know I'm filming, right? So they're kind of acting a fool. So I re do this. I just put my bags out here to kind of simulate – if he's a guard, this would be kind of center and guard and maybe a tackle over here, okay, and trying to trap a defensive end. This is, you know, early on, right? We're out here in just, you know, shorts and shirts, so we're not doing too much craziness. We're just hitting a sled, right? And this is an old-school sled, and I didn't have it buckled, so it just drives straight up. But what I'm trying to teach right here, especially on this trap, okay, I want to drop this foot and get this toe pointed where our direction is. Swing this arm back and open up, and let's get running, okay? And then don't slow down contact. Run your feet. Drive this bell, drive this board, okay? He ends kind of early. This right here is a good rep of it. I like how he – this guy's a wrestler, so he's really good at it. Run, stutter step. And when I teach the stutter step, it's kind of get you ready for block, blocking a D end or a linebacker. I don't teach them to slow down, but I teach them to boom, 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 buzz their feet. It's like almost like you're making a tackle and then drive before you make contact, okay? Just going the other way, drive. Okay, I don't like the way his hands are where he's, he's, he's waving way back here. We coached it up. Keep your hands tight, ready to roll, and let's go. Okay, let's get to him. Boom, right there, and drive. Okay, right here, we were, we we're going to skip pull right here. Obviously, this is just the, the, this is just a, a, a little bit of a, a pocket right here. Working on a skip, getting vertical, working to pull, right? Nothing crazy. Working from the back shot right here. So 
Let's get pulled. I'm not teaching you guys anything different um, that you already don't know. Um, in my philosophy on pulls, I teach multiple different types of ways to pull. Open pull, skip pull, shuffle, however you need to teach it. I teach it to all of them. So when it comes to, hey, what are you good at? They can do what they're good at. But I don't, I don't try to put them in a box. It's like you're going to skip pull if they're not good at it. Uh, but right here, coaching point, hey, this will be a left side. His right foot is up. Left foot is staggered. He's going to swing this foot back, okay, and he's going to cross over. So this foot will go here. Then he'll go here with this foot and then try to run, okay? Love my little diagrams, but you can see it when we get here, okay? So left side, left foot swings back, cross over, get running, okay? Break down when you block the linebacker. Skip. Swing this foot back. Get back vertical. Low. Strike. Raise. Now, last thing we're talking about a little pass pro. Uh, this is just a real. I put this on Twitter and uh, on YouTube before. Uh, this is several years ago, but you can tell the quality. But uh, it's just a pass pro progression, right? So I'll have them in a right handed stance, left handed stance. So left, right handed stance, their left foot is up, right foot is staggered. Okay, and I'm just gonna say one. I'm gonna say go, and they're gonna set back once. Okay, and then they're gonna reset, and they're gonna set back twice. Okay. And then they're going to reset. I don't know if I went to three or not. But uh, we could, then the next progression would be one, two, and then redirect back inside like a double move, like a DN or a three techniques going outside. They cross his face. So set on him, get your hands on him, and he tries to cross your face. Now working pretty much down block from there. Uh, I don't think I get to that, but you'll see. See, one, good. Okay, reset. Perfect. Okay, here we go. So I go, I go one set, then I have him go right back inside. Okay. So set out, back in, okay? So uh, let me go back here. Okay, so so speed, power, okay? So speed, power. Uh, I don't have a film of it, but on this, I also have them watch me, and I'll have them mirror me, and I'll go speed, and I'll point, and they have to keep going until I stop, because I don't stop on three or stop on four. I have them go, and they have to watch me. And then I'll go speed, and then I'll flip on. I'll go power, and have a bit of power it down, pound the post, old school term, um, and, and, and redirect. Okay, so I'll work those hips, working side to side, uh, and all those other things. So uh, that that right there is it's a couple of flips off my indie drill. So coaches, if you liked any of that, what you saw, if you have any questions on what you saw, none of that was nothing groundbreaking. It's kind of what everybody kind of does. But I uh, kind of want to come on here and make a quick video, just talking about a little bit of pass pro. Uh, we, we finished up spring ball. It was absolutely awesome to be out there with the kids again. Um, that's what we're here for, right? We're here to coach the kids and mentor them and love up on them a little bit. So uh, it's always great uh, at the end of the day uh, getting to hang out with the guys and, and coach them hard. So, uh, again, I'm Coach Tato. If you liked the video, make sure you hit a like. Uh, go ahead and thumbs it up for me. It lets me know that, hey, this was I. Right. Uh, if the sound quality is great, all that stuff, perfect, great. Uh, if you do some of these drills, make sure that you comment. Uh, comment what your everyday drills are. At least give me, give me three or five. Uh, three to five of your favorite drills that you do every day, or at least you can hit them uh, several times a week. Um, and, and then let me know. It's, I want to get better as well, right? If you did learn something, let me know. Uh, and then go ahead and consider subscribing. If you do uh, like any of this we talked about, uh, we are on the road to 1,500. We need about 200 more. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. It's a number, but I love the growth. I love the feedback that I'm getting from coaches. Uh, and then every Thursday night at 7.30 uh, Eastern time, Coach Rappinick and I have a podcast, the Counterculture Podcast, uh, that we do have a great time. People come hang out. It's live. Uh, people ask us questions. We have a topic prepared. And we have, like, a, a random funny question at the end kind of discuss more like life stuff. So it's a really great time on Thursday nights if you can join us. But until next video, I'm Coach Tatum. See you all next time.